Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of even and odd. This is standard 3.4i in the great state of Texas. We are using number 6 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, see if you can work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will check our answers together. So we've got six basketball jerseys hanging on a wall, and it's really, really tiny right here is going to be the only clue we need to figure out what to do here. Lori's favorite basketball players each have an odd number. So which list shows favorite basketball, but they don't say that word odd again. So make sure we read this very clearly and carefully. We're looking for the list that has just the odd jerseys. So let's talk about odd and even real quick. So odd and even. An easy way to think about that is even numbers can be divided into equal groups. So we're going to make a list of odd and even numbers. So if I were to take 0 and I were to divide 0 into equal groups, well, I would have two equal groups of 0. So 0 is an even number. If I were to try 1 and divide that into equal groups, I can only put one on one side. They're unequal, therefore it's an odd number. If I were to say try two, well, I could put one on each side. So there's I've got two groups of one, so therefore two is an even number. And we can go on and on. Let's see, one, two, three. Nope, it's going to be uneven because I have to put three on that other side. Let's see, four has got one, two, three, four, so they're even groups. Hopefully you notice a pattern here. We've got even, odd, even, odd, even. So I'm guessing that 5 is going to be an odd number. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, it's got 3 and 2. And so you notice it goes back and forth. 6 should be an even number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, it is even because it's got two sets of 3. And we've got just a few more. We'll get the whole set here. 7 is should be odd. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is odd. Let's do 8 and 9, and then we'll stop, and I'll show you why we can stop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is even. Odd there. Let's do 9. 9 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uneven. It is odd. Now take a look at that. We've put every digit from 0 to 9. And they are each skip counting by 2. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. If we were to go up to 10, well, we know that 10 would be an even number because it would follow the pattern. It goes even, odd, even, odd, even, odd. But we also know 10 is an even number because it has zero in the ones place. That's the trick with even and odd. All you have to do is look at what's in the ones place. If I were to say 12, I know that that would be an even number because it has a 2 in the ones place. And any number that ends with a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, if I were to go 34, 106, 9,878. It doesn't matter. We're just looking at the ones place. The ones digit is what makes a number even or odd. So let's come back here and let's just look right here and we could easily classify our jerseys. One, that makes it odd. Zero, that makes it even. Five makes it odd. Three makes it odd. Zero makes it even. And then 2 makes it even. So we want to get rid of 52, 10, and 50. So I've got a 10 right here. I've got a 50 and a 52. And I've got a 10 and a 50. So it looks like these are all odd numbers. But we're going to get rid of it because it hasn't even. This is odd, 21. We're going to get rid of it because it's got two evens, 33 and 52. Oh, I should cross that off. 52 is even. So 33 is the only odd number there. So our answer is going to be G, 21, 25, 33. Those are the odd numbers.